Alright, hi guys. Today, I'll be revealing my darkest secret about how I make my coffee delicious during my competition and also the cheapest way to make your coffee tasty as well. So let's go. So, here we go. Alright, so this is my secret weapon that I use during my compulsory. Having different types of um, filter paper. So I have three from Capac. You also have two different filter paper from Hario as well. Just a small clue for everyone here. The filter paper that you have in the box that you get from Hario and in the plastic bag, they are actually different. So yeah. And the other one that you always see is also Kalitawe. As well as the other one would be from Sibaris. So we're gonna do one small experiment today by using two different types of filter coffee. One is a natural process and the other one is a wash process coffee when we'll be filtering through different types of filter paper and we can look into how does it impact the different aspects of coffee. There's three different aspects that I want to cover today. Body, sweetness, as well as acidity. So, uh, I've chosen six different filter paper for our experiment today. Uh, all these six different filter paper, they are readily available in the market. So let's start with the first one. The three different filter papers I have here are from Cafec, PH1, 2 and 3. And I also have the Sibaris filter paper, the Hario filter paper from the plastic um, packaging, as well as um, Kalita Wave. I'll be using um, the same coffee across the six different filter paper. Uh, I'm going to prepare using the cupping method. So what we're going to do is we will steep the coffee grounds for four minutes, give it a good stir, and then I'll filter it through the different filter paper. And then we can together assess the different aspects of the coffee by looking at the body, the acidity, as well as the sweetness. So after spending, I don't know, one hour and 30 minutes, to test out the different coffees and so here's our finding. Well, as you can see from the result, it's very obvious that different filter paper actually highlight the different aspect of um, coffee itself. It changes the intensity of the body, the acidity and the sweetness. So for the first one, I think um, I would actually prefer to have the TH2 and the Hario filter paper because it actually helps to highlight and bring out more sweetness in the cup and highlight the acidity as well as the body itself. Overall, it's more well-balanced and easy to drink from like hot, warm to cold. I feel like I'm reporting the news, like looking at something, you know. And uh, for the watch coffee, uh, for me, I think it favours with the TH1. It actually brings out a more silky, body with um, a higher sweetness as compared to the other filter paper as well as the Sibaris actually fares better with the wash coffee as compared to the natural anaerobic it helps to increase the body making it a lot more smooth as compared to TH1 and yeah we can actually pick up two different types of acids uh, malic and citric and the sweetness is also on the higher side as compared to the other filter paper so with all that being said, um, different filter paper highlights different stuff and it will actually favour different kind of um, coffee profile. So I suggest uh, for you to try at home um, to have different filter paper and try them out with different coffees. So with all our findings that we have for today, um, I believe that different filter paper actually helps to highlight and to bring out a better aspect of that particular coffee. We will dive deeper um, later on by breaking, down, uh, breaking them down to subsequent videos that were released later on into the different brands and I'll share a little bit more about the history of the different filter paper. Okay, if you'd like to learn how to assess your coffee, you can watch this video right over here and I'll see you in the next video. 